So the first thing that we want to do is actually insert the Enjoyment of Music Instructor Resource Disk. And once you do that, I'm actually just going to come right down here and click on this folder, Lecture PowerPoints, and then I'm going to click on Part 4, and I'm going to open that with Microsoft PowerPoint. Now we are running this via the CD. So the slide and the audio is going to be connected to the CD and you're going to be hearing your CD spin. So I'm going to view the show and let's just take a look at a few slides. And I'm going to stop on one of the slides with these embedded files. Now I'm going to click Mozart Piano Concerto number 21. And what's going to happen is we're going to get this warning from PowerPoint Microsoft. It's uh, the file that we're going to play is just fine. And that's going to launch iTunes. So we're going to leave the presentation and your iTunes is going to launch. I'm going to do this in just a moment with another file so you can see what's happening. It's important to note that you do temporarily when you use this method leave the PowerPoint presentation. You can click back on it when you're ready. So now I'm going to click Haydn's Trumpet Concerto and as you see here iTunes has launched and it's now playing that selection. I'm going to click on the PowerPoint slide and we're going to go back into the PowerPoint presentation. Now the only problem with this method is that if you wanted to make changes to your slide, say you wanted to customize the slide, you wanted to change some of the language, insert a slide, uh, you're not going to be able to do that because in order for these links to work you have to be running the PowerPoint slide via the CD and of course any file that's on a CD whether it be from Norton or anybody else for that matter uh, it's a read-only file and once you move this PowerPoint slide let's say you saved it within PowerPoint to your desktop the links between the files that are on that CD and your PowerPoint file which is now on your desktop are severed. There is a solution however if you want to make edits and customizations to your PowerPoint slides but at the same time retain access to the various multimedia links that we've created here and also there's a way for you to create if you have certain versions of PowerPoint the more current versions of PowerPoint uh, to create embeddable objects drawing on the uh, many mp3s and videos that Norton has built into the uh, instructor resource disk. So in the second part of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do just that. So here we are again back at the instructor resource disk. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to grab the PowerPoint folder and I'm just going to drag it to my desktop. So what we're doing here is we're taking not just the PowerPoint files but all of the video files as well as the music files as well to your desktop or a, or a USB thumb drive. And then from that downloaded uh, folder I'm going to open a file and this time because it's now on my desktop with all the music I can actually edit the PowerPoint file and that's what I'm doing now. And what we're going to see is when I save this file and play it in presentation mode when I click on those links they're going to play because they're playing from my desktop or um, alternatively from a USB thumb drive. So let's just save this file and we're going to be saving it as you can see in just a moment to the desktop. And then I'm going to just close it down and we're going to reopen that file. But again, now it's on your desktop with all those music files. So once it launches as we are, as we are here, I'm going to click on the file. You can see that's an edited PowerPoint and the music plays. Again it plays but within iTunes. Now it is possible with PowerPoint to actually embed music and that's what we're going to do next. So I'm going to pick a slide and there are no links here but I want to provide some links drawing on the mp3s that we make available to you um, from the IRD which is now living on your desktop. So I'm going to go to insert sound from file and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select and again the music excerpts folder is on your desktop now and I'm just going to select uh, the selection from Haydn. Now these files as you can see are in alphabetical order so it's very easy to find. Okay so now we're going to add another one. I'm going to click on insert again sound from file 
we're navigating to the music excerpts, which are now on your desktop or USB thumb drive. And again, just so you can see, audio examples, music excerpts, and now we're just going to find a little Beethoven. And I'm going to click Insert. And it's asking me, do I want the sound to play automatically? No. And now I'm just going to move that selectable uh, icon there. Let's do it again. Insert Movies uh, Sound from File. I'm going to select a file from the Music Excerpts folder. Again, now on your desktop, not the IRD disk. There it is. There's some Mozart. We don't want it to play automatically and we're just going to line it up there. Now you can also insert and or embed rather video. And we have a, a lot of video for me to choose from you to choose from um, on the IRD which we've moved to your desktop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a new slide. And to do that, I go to insert new slide. And then I'm going to select on that slide and we're just going to go through the process again slightly augmented. I'm going to go to insert movies and sounds and now I'm going to I'm going to select movie from file. And instead of choosing the music excerpts folder, I'm going to choose video examples again desktop. There's the directory that you've created, video examples and we're just going to scroll through those examples you can see there are many. And I'm going to click on the new videos folder because I know that there are some um, orchestra selections there, live vid or a video, and I'm going to make my selection. And this is going to embed this performance on my PowerPoint slide. Let's do it one more time. We're going to insert a new slide. Now I'm going to select the slide, and I'm going to choose insert again, movies and sounds, movie from file, select, and I'm going to choose a Mozart performance, and choose, and now that performance is there as well. So let's see how this all looks together. I'm going to view this in slideshow mode, and I'm going to click through my slides coming first to uh, these embedded musical selections. And notice here how to make the music stop, I can do that in PowerPoint by selecting this icon in the lower left-hand corner. That stops the music. I come back up, and now I selected the Mozart. I can stop that. And let's conclude with the Beethoven, make sure it's working. Beethoven's working just fine. Okay, let's try the videos now. Next slide, I'm going to click on the slide. The final step is to save the file to my desktop with all of the multimedia. So let's review. I can launch the IRD from my CD drive and open a slide, and that's going to launch that slide from the CD drive itself. However, if I want to make customized changes to my PowerPoint slides, I need to first drag the PowerPoint folder to my desktop, and then from my desktop, launch that folder. Now I can open a slide, I can embed video, I can embed audio, and the links that are already created in the PowerPoint slides are going to reference the audio and the video files that are now on your desktop.